In this video, we're going to take a look at implicit differentiation. So, sometimes we might have an equation that can't necessarily be rearranged to give, for example, y equals f of x. So, in this case, we can't differentiate as normal. What we need to do is use implicit differentiation. And this allows us to differentiate without the need for rearranging. So, by using the chain rule here, we get d by dx, so d by dx of f of y here, and this would give us f prime of y, and we multiply that by dy by dx. Okay. Now we also have the following results, which might be quite useful here. So we've got d by dx, so d by dx of y to the power of n. In this case, what we get here is n times y or of n minus 1, and again, we times this by dy by dx here. Times that by dy by dx. And then finally, for my last result here, or d by dx, of a product now, so let's say we've got xy here. And to differentiate this here, again, we do use implicit differentiation, and now we also use the product rule. Okay? So in this case, my result here would be x times dy by dx plus y, okay? So if I just quickly demonstrate how this works here using the product rule. So what I do here is I split this up as a product, so u here would be x, and then v would be y. So in this case now we differentiate u and v here with respect to x, u prime, the derivative of u with respect to x, that would be 1, and then for v prime here, what I'm doing now is I'm using these results here, in this case simply this result. So in this case if I differentiate y with respect to x, that would give me 1. And we times that by dy by dx to simply get dy by dx. Okay. So now using the product rule here, we get x times dy by dx. So let's just write it down again. So in fact let me write the full result out. So d by dx of xy, like we said here, by using the product rule, we're going to get u times v prime, so x times dy by dx, so x dy by dx. Then we get u prime, so 1 times v here, which is y, so 1 times y, simply giving us y there. Okay, and there we have it. So, like you can see, here, it's just the same result x times dy by dx plus y, it's the exact same result. But like you can see, you just simply use the um, product rule there. And it's quite a straightforward process um, just to give us the derivative there when we have a product that involves x and y. Okay, but there we have it. So that's our quick introduction there to implicit differentiation. So what we're going to do now is just take a look at a couple of practice questions for implicit differentiation. So we start off with question one here. We're to find dy by dx in terms of x and y. So we've got 4x squared minus 2x plus 5y squared is equal to 3. So to begin with here, if we want to find dy by dx in terms of x and y, what I need to do here is just differentiate each term with respect to x. So we start off with 4x squared here. If I differentiate that with respect to x, that would simply give me ax. We get ax there. We've then got minus 2x, so again if I just differentiate that with respect to x, that would simply give me minus 2. Now for the 5y squared here, we now need to use implicit differentiation. And in this case here, we differentiate 5y squared. Um, implicitly here, and this would give me 10y, and then don't forget we multiply that by dy by dx. So we get 10y, we multiply that by dy by dx. If I differentiate the 3 here because this is a constant, that would differentiate to give 0. That's all equal to 0. So what we need to do now, if we're looking for dy by dx here, we need to make dy by dx the subject here. So what I'm going to do now is take this ax minus 2 across the other side. So I'll just use an inverse operations here. That would be um, 10y dy by dx on this side. Get 10y dy by dx. So that would be equal to 2 minus ax. So 2 minus ax there. And then finally, we just want dy by dx here. As I need to divide by this coefficient here, essentially, this 10y. So therefore y by dx here is equal to 2 minus ax 
all divided by 10y there. Okay, and there we have it. So we found dy by dx in terms of x and y. And that gives us the solution there to question one. So we move on now to the very last question here. Question two, what we've got is a curve C, which has equation 6x equals 4y minus 3xy. Now let's find the value of dy by dx at the point 1, 2. So to begin with here, let's just write down this equation. So 6x is equal to 4y minus 3xy. If we're looking to find dy by dx here, then we're going to have to use implicit differentiation. So we're going to differentiate term by term here with respect to x. So for my first term here, if I differentiate this with respect to x, then I'd simply get 6. We get 6 to begin with. Moving on to the next term now, 4y here. So now we need to use implicit differentiation here. So in this case, we'd get 4 multiplied by dy by dx. We get 4 dy by dx. And minus 3xy here. So again, we need to use implicit differentiation, and we also need the product rule now. So u here would be minus 3x, and v would be y. Now if we find u prime and v prime here, well u prime, that would be simply minus 3. And for v prime here, again, we use implicit differentiation. This would be 1 multiplied by dy by dx, simply giving me dy by dx. We get dy by dx there. So now if we apply the product rule here, what I'm going to get then is u multiplied by v prime. I get minus 3x. And we multiply that by dy by dx. Like so. We then also got u prime multiplied by v here. So minus 3 times y, giving us minus 3y there. Okay. So let me just write this underneath just so it's a little bit neater. In fact, we'll do it over here. So I've got 6 is equal to 4 dy by dx minus 3x dy by dx. And then finally, minus 3y. So here now, what I want to do is make dy by dx the subject. So I'm going to add 3y to both sides to begin with. We get 6 plus 3y is equal. And what I'm also going to do here now is factor the dy by dx out. I'm going to get 4 minus 3x here. And then dy by dx on the outside. And then finally, if we want dy by dx here on its own, we just need to divide both sides by 4 minus 3x. So therefore, dy by dx is given as 6 plus 3y, all divided by 4 minus 3x. Okay. Now we're not done here because we want the value of dy by dx at the point 1, 2. So at 1, 2 here, that means all I need to do now is substitute 1, 2 into dy by dx. So therefore, dy by dx will be equal to here. So it's going to be 6 plus 3 times 2. My y coordinate here is 2. We get 6 plus 3 lots of 2. That's all divided here by 4 minus 3 lots of 1. Like so. And then from here, all I need to do now is just simplify the numerator. Simplify the denominator and just evaluate. So 6 plus 3 lots of 2, that would give me 12. And then my denominator here, 4 minus 3, would give us 1. We get 12 over 1, or simply 12 there. And there we have it. So that gives us the solution there to question 2. The very last question, that brings us to the end of this video on implicit differentiation. So in the next video, we're going to take a look at rates of change.